Hello, good morning. How many of us know that the Lord is high above the heavens and his glory is above all the nations? We serve a God that sits up high and he uses the earth as his footstool. He sits up high in the fall of the air. You know, he sits up high. He's the most high God and his glory and dominion is amongst all the earth. It says in his word that he created the earth in six days and he took a day for rest. And then he also said that in a moment in the twinkling of the eye that it will all be done with. So we just, I just thank God this morning for waking me up this morning and starting me on my way and giving me the ability to speak, the ability to move my limbs, the ability to even, you know, say what it is that I have to say. God is who he say he is. That's what it says in his word. And he will do what he say that he will do. You know, while I've been going, as you can see that the Lord has been working on me, it's a, it's a fight. It's a battle. You know, I sin and I fall short. But the word of God says to whom much is given and much is required. And even right now while I speak, the enemy is attacking me. He attacks me. Any way that he feel like he can. He does what he feel like he can because that's his job. His job is to still kill and destroy. But, you know, you know, sometimes when somebody tries to break a relationship up so bad, you know, it only brings the people close to, you know how. You know, your parents or your friend might not want to see with somebody. Or people might be throwing salt, you know, on something you got going on. Whatever the case may be. Yeah, like that. And because they don't want to see you and a person together. But then y'all only end up getting closer. Stuff like that because they're always happy. So the enemy, you know, Ratna Oshia or Ratna Ashia, you got to denounce him because he's a liar. Ram, I was watching one YouTuber. She sat up here and said, you know, who am I to denounce Satan? I rebuke you, Satan. Who of you to denounce Satan? Do you know that Satan fell from heaven? You know why he fell from heaven? Because he didn't want to serve me. He was created by the same God that created you. Understand that. That he didn't create himself. That any power that he has come from God. God is just able and just. That's the message that I preach here. God is merciful. He's so merciful that he didn't take his powers from Satan. He took his anointing from Satan. But he said you can have everything else. Even what I gave you. Even the gift of music. Even the world. You can have whatever you want to have. You're Satan. You're Lucifer. You're the most you're beautiful morning star. You know you get. I can't take it back. I gave it to you. He's a big G. He don't play like that. He really like that. He's God and God all by himself. He don't need no help. He don't need to wake us up. He didn't have to create me. He didn't have to create angels. He just Decided to, he chose to. He said, I'm gonna do this because guess what? He's a good God. Amen. He is a good God. It says the God word that Satan fell from the sky like lightning, and one third of the host of heaven fell with him. That's what it says. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm gonna tell you something about Satan. He does the Lord's work, and I'm sorry to say it, but it's true. Satan does what God is too good to do. Good Satan do what God is too good good to do. He still works for the Lord. Anything that Satan does, he got to go and he has to ask God first. He can't do nothing without and just like you and me, nothing happens without God knowing about it. He sits up high. He uses, he's, he's higher than the heavens. He sits up high and he uses the earth as his footstool. Don't nothing get past the almighty God. Don't nothing get past his name is El Roy. He is the God who sits up high. He sees and he heals all. His name is El Shaddai. He is the provider. Don't let everything that's happening. God called on this pandemic. God called on the order. That's happening in the world because he said that everything must be done and decency. Well, I'm just keeping it real for real for real. I'm not trying to rat now. Oh, I'm not trying to sit up here and say nothing that would make you upset and nothing like that. I'm not trying to do that, but however the case may be, these are uh, realizations I had to come to myself because Satan was messing with me and he continues. You know, he not he, he's relentless. He's relentless. He can't stop, won't stop. Rockefeller, he can't stop. He won't stop. You know what I'm saying? That's how he get down. That's how he get down. He just like that. He just, you know, he is a rock marshal. 
roaming earth. So that's what he that's his job to kill, steal, and destroy him. He's been killing, still, and destroying. I speak life and life more abundantly over myself and my family. And I speak the joy of God and the peace of God in those areas of my life. That were falling and breaking apart. In every area of my life that I fell. I speak life and I encourage you to do the same. Because if you don't, I can, I can pray for you. And I do pray for you. And I speak life into you. And I speak peace and hope. But if you don't speak it for yourself, you know, you can go to how many pastors you want to go to, go to the prophet, go to the bishop, go to this person, go to that person. But if you don't have the power or the might to believe and speak over yourself, and speak life over yourself, even when you don't feel like it, let me tell you, all of that stuff is, you know, it's only going to get you, but so far, you know, God, the prayers of the righteous develop much, so it will help if somebody pray for you. Hallelujah, God. I thank you, Lord, for who you are. It will help if somebody pray for you, but sometimes you got to encourage yourself. Sometimes you have to encourage yourself. You got to pat your own self on the shoulder. Everybody can't always do it for you. You understand what I'm saying? You got to do it for you. That's why my name is Ari Does It. My brand name is Ari Does It. And I rat na oshala rat na ashua. I'll be doing it. I'll be doing it. You understand what I'm saying? So I love you and I encourage you on this day. December 30th, 2021. Hallelujah. I thank you, Lord. And I want to just assure us out with a word of prayer. Hallelujah, God. I thank you, Lord. We come to you, Lord God. Thank you and for waking us up this morning, Lord God. We thank you. Thank you, Lord, for putting clothes on our back, Lord God, and food on our table. We ask you, Lord God, for forgiveness for everything we said and the thought that was unpleasing in your sight, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that you are who you say you are. We praise you, Lord God, that you will do, Lord God, what you say you will do, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that you are a God who sits up high and look down to the hearts and matters of all things. You said that it is a matter of kings to search out a matter. So I thank you, Lord, Lord God. I praise you and I worship your holy and matchless name, Lord God. You alone are worthy. You alone are righteous. You alone, Lord God, deserve the glory and the honor and the praise because there is none like you on all the earth, Lord God. Your name is El Shaddai. Your name is El Elyon. Your name is Yahovah Shalom. Your name is Yahovah your name is El Elyon, because you sit up high and you look down low, you are the most high God. And you are able to do everything that we ask or think, Lord God. You said beyond what we can ask and beyond, far beyond what we could think, God. So we thank you, Lord God. And we submit to you the matters of our hearts, Lord God. We ask you, Lord God, to search out our hearts, Lord God. We pray against the plans of the enemy, Lord God. Each and every one of them, Lord God. I speak, Lord God. Life to everyone understand my voice, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, for your life. I thank you, Lord God, for your wisdom. I thank you, Lord God, for your grace and your mercy, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God. That what the enemy has meant for bad, that you have already turned it around for our good. And we thank you, Lord God, that the battle is already won, Lord God, that you already won the battle, and that everything that's happening, Lord God, is written inside your word because it says in your Bible, Lord God, that heaven and earth will pass away but the word of God shall remain so we thank you Lord for who you are we praise and worship your holy and matchless name it says in your word that any pit holes dug out for us Lord God that our enemies dig them will fall into them themselves so we thank you Lord God for your word we thank you Lord God that it stands we thank you Lord God that you are the same God yesterday today, tomorrow and we come Lord God lifting this prayer up to you in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus we do pray amen so i encourage y'all to have a good old day 
and just you know stay in the word of god and as i say that to you i say that to myself because everything is a battle it's not easy it is not easy like i said i'm under attack right now as i speak I'm under attack right now as I speak and the year is ending and we're going on into a new year and yet the enemy is still bothering me with old things and old people and old spirits and things that I've been delivered from and the spirit of jealousy I denounce you far be it from me the spirit of jealousy and I speak life and I speak peace I speak peace into my life.